Hey everybody, welcome to the Fire It Up with CJ show. I am so excited. I have my dear friend Michael Sandler and he is talking about his book, uh, The Automatic Writing Experience. And I have been hearing about this book for an incredibly long time. I'm like thrilled to have you on to tell us all about your book. Michael Sandler and I do a weekly video log um, where we talk about our lives. And um, um, I truly can say Michael is one of the most fascinating people that I know. I am so thrilled to find out about this book, which um, has guided you in your whole life. So welcome, Michael. Thank you so much for being here, Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I'm thank you're thanking me for being here. Thank you for being here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and the tables have turned to woo-hoo again. Exactly. <laughs> woo. All right. So tell us what like how did this automatic writing experience come to you? Um and tell us what it is for people who are not familiar with it. So automatic writing in essence is a process where you go quiet, you kind of get into a meditative state, you put pen to paper. And we're, we're journaling, you would write about your day. In this case, the pen starts moving kind of on your own and you hear from something outside or inside of yourself, how you're doing, what you need to know, where you get to go, what's going on with your life, what's not working, what is working. And you get this guidance, we can say from the other side of the veil or from inside of yourself. And it's like having God or your inner wisdom as your GPS guiding you each step of the way. For myself, the most abridged version is that my wife and I, uh, Jessica Lee and myself, we were living on Maui. We're meditating for hours a day. I had just had a second near-death experience followed by a, a uh, accident b- that broke all the bones around my heart. We had been wiped out financially because of the accidents. We were putting together a mindful running program, mindfulrunning.org, and my wife Jessica was getting very sick and we didn't know what was going on. Turns out it was mold toxicity poisoning. And I'm going, there has to be a way. We're, out, we're meditating hours a day, but we feel completely lost. Mm. There has to be a way that we can talk and communicate with source where we don't feel like we're um, running around blind. Mm. And I had learned a process somewhat similar, akin to automatic writing many years earlier. And each time I went into it, it gave me profound words of wisdom, but I felt that must be my ego speaking. But finally, as we were being catapulted off of the island, I said, all right, I got to give this a try. I've got to find some way to be able to get out of my worry, fear-based thinking mind and figure out where to go and what to do from here. And I started honing this process, which became AWE, the automatic writing experience, AWE, A-W-E, automatic writing experience, and diving in on a daily basis. And out of that came our Inspire Nation show, 2,000 plus shows, number one podcast, uh, amazing business, and on and on it goes. And Jessica's return to perfect health, all by diving in each morning into a practice where I'm not just going quiet and plugging into the sweetness, but I get direct, deliberate action to take from spirit, you could say. Mm. Okay, so you've been doing this for, so every single day, you've been doing this for how many years? So there are rare occasional missed days. Uh, On the other hand, there are many days at this point where it's two, three times or more a day that I'm going into it. Wow, okay. So that would more than make up for it, Um, but now for a good solid six years straight. Wow. Okay, and how have you seen this process evolving of of maybe one or three times a day checking in to um, with your higher guidance to figure out what's going on. How has your life changed as a result? I mean, you talked about the move, you talked about, um, you talked about, you know, healing. um, But how would you, I don't know if it's even possible to generally talk about it. Well, I've had two near-death experiences, and the reason I bring them up, and and the trifecta was that third accident that broke all the bones around my heart, is that kind of cracked me open, and that gave me a big picture understanding of the world, like really elevated or accelerated my spiritual growth. But there was still a lot of, I don't want to say young, all this go-getter energy. I still have a lot of go-getter energy, but there was a lot more roughness, sharpness, something to Mm. me. I can't even put my finger on what Mm. it is. 
now there is a lot more of a sweetness. No. And and so I'm a lot more it's hard to say from your own perspective, heart centered, kind, compassionate. I always was these things. Mm-hmm. Um, and while I wouldn't call myself a medium or a channel per se, I'm plugged in. Mm-hmm. And so I can hear from spirit if I, if I take the opportunity to listen on a moment to moment basis. Mm-hmm. And that changes everything. So if you asked me, what the difference between automatic writing is then to automatic writing now, because automatic writing experience itself and myself um, parallel in our growth, you could say, is resonance, frequency, vibration. Hmm. Back when I started it, it was more of a functional tool. It was a teaching tool, but more of a functioning tool. Now it's an attunement. And so the more what I realized is the more that I go into awe, and, and, and it's interesting, I got to read the entire book again over the last two days as I was in the recording studio doing the, the mm. audio version. Mm-hmm. And the biggest difference that I'm seeing in what I wrote and where I'm at now, and, and the last revisions were only done, um, the book released two months ago, were only done a month or two before that. Mm-hmm. Electronic technology has come so far mm-hmm. in what can go to press quickly. But now that I understand how much of an attunement tool or a vehicle it is for getting you to the upper room, to getting you to a higher vibrational state, Mm -hmm. the more you dip your toes into awe, the higher you vibrate. So, for instance, some people will do an ayahuasca ceremony Mm -hmm. once or twice a year Mm -hmm. to vibrate at a different frequency. This is, in essence, a milder version <laughs> without the fiber. <laughs> None of, yeah, all the other pieces that are not so pleasant. Yeah. It's an attunement that compounds day after day. So I am sure if I asked you, you've seen a lot of changes in me over the last six years. And to me, a large extent is either directly coming out of automatic writing or how much more um, present attuned, aware, um, well, maybe I'd even go with awake I am by dipping my toes in the water of awe several times a day. Right. So by attunement, just for clarification, if people aren't familiar with attunement, it's actually resonating um, with the vibration, hearing spirits, guidance, um, attuning energetically and vibrationally to um, what the world is collective is trying to tell you let's say you're at a party and somebody comes in and lights up the whole room you have just gotten attuned to their frequency Hmm. let's say you go to the grocery uh, or to the grocer and and somebody who's ringing your your uh goods out hates their job and you feel miserable. You just got attuned with them. You get attuned to the highest vibration, the highest frequency, or the strongest uh, tuning fork or tugboat in the room. Mm-hmm. So it's why people love to go to a guru, because the guru has a very high frequency, and you attune to it. It's like a bee going to nectar or mm-hmm. going to a flower. You want to bathe in that frequency because it brings you up. Mm. Okay, so we've talked about you who's been doing this for six years. So you've actually refined and cultivated and taken all of your great learnings and put them into your book in a process and set of techniques to use. Um, before we close the segment, I want to ask a little bit about you have um, classes that you've been teaching on this process. You've worked individually with clients one on one through this process. And so what have you seen happen? to other people who are just beginning the process. And I know you mentioned initially, it's like, well, you know, it it kind of helped me directionally know where to go, but where have you noticed other people's paths taking them as they deepen into this process? The biggest change that I see, because everybody can dive into it relatively quickly within the first month, usually within the first couple weeks, sometimes in the first day, the biggest difference is particularly now we're talking COVID time. We're talking fear, worry, stress, anxiety, depression. And what happens is because there is a vibrational attunement to it, even before the words are really starting to flow, it's as if you took, we've all been to the dentist and worn the heavy lead vest. Mm -hmm. It's as if we take the heavy lead vest off of you. Mm. You start to feel lighter, more energized, 
you see the world more differently. You feel more free. You're more awake. You're more aware. And now the words are starting to flow, but you are feeling better mm. almost even before you start to get the words. And so it's a tool. This is a tool that there's a 1930 book on automatic writing, uh, 1920 or 1930, called automatic writing. And the psychologist who writes the book said around the 1850s, the time of Freud, the time of Jung, it was the most powerful technique for getting into the subconscious and helping heal somebody. Mm. They didn't 